Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the vlog. So I'm doing uh, a couple projects today. First one I think is super important, it's just, it's this paint. Um, unfortunately the previous owner, we are the second owner to this RV, um, but the first owner just, I guess never kept up with like um, waxing the RV and keeping the paint in good shape. So, um, you know, this is like the actual body this is like paint on, I don't know what it's called, but anyway, you can see all the clear coat is starting to like flake away and it just, it does it all over the place, all on the bumper and that wherever it's painted on, the rest of the body is okay. So um, today I'm gonna tape this off and I bought some spray paint. I'm hoping it doesn't look too, too bad. I bought this stuff. This is Glidden Max Flex All Surface. It says it comes with a flawless finish and dries within five minutes with no drips. This is chocolate pretzel and a satin finish. So this won't have too much of a shine. It might have a slight, slight shine. I had a very hard time matching the color. Um, it's not going to be obviously perfect, but this whole back is going to be done. So it's not really going to matter unless you're looking at the back and the side at the same time, which I don't really do. So I'm not too worried about it, but I have to tape up all these windows pull my plate um wrap up the electrical cord for the solar and then uh put up the tarp little plastic tarp that i bought and sand everything i bought sandpaper so i'm gonna sand all that down and then we'll get spraying all right it took a little while but just about everything that i want to be taped up and i put some plastic up top to cover it a little bit just in case there's a little overspray or the wind but I covered up the lights, I covered up the light bulb under here, because I'm just going to have this blend in too. Um, I'm going to try to not get any on this, I didn't tape it up, I wrapped up the wire around here. But yeah, so I'm going to sand this all down now, and then uh, we'll wipe it down, and then we'll start spraying. Alright guys, I'm starting to lose daylight here, we started this project a little late sun's starting to set over there but this is how it's coming um this is coat like two and a half i did two decently thick coats and then the last coat i did a little thinner um it's weird when you spray it on obviously it, it comes out like a different color and then when it dries um it's more of a flatter tone than i thought it was going to be it did say satin but i i don't know i thought it was gonna have a little bit more of a shine to it but you can see like these areas i can't tell if i didn't hit those areas or if it's still wet and it didn't dry yet because when it comes out of the can it's it's like a tannish color um kind of like that like how you see those little blotches but then once it dries it looks like how the bumper looks i haven't hit the bumper in a while so the bumper is really drying so I'm gonna wait overnight. I'm gonna leave everything on here. That way, tomorrow when I hit it again, I don't have to retape everything. Um, so we'll let this dry overnight for a good 12 hours or so, and then tomorrow we'll, I don't know, probably have to do at least another two coats. I still have about a can and a half left. I bought three cans. So hopefully that does it and I don't have to go back because these cans are kind of pricey for what they are, I guess. They're like 10 bucks a can. All right, settling around another nice fire tonight. The nice thing about having your own property and cutting down your own trees and stuff is we got plenty of wood over there. I just cut up a whole bunch more today. Um, so it was starting to run a little low, but we'll let that dry out for a couple months and it'll be ready to burn. But we still have quite a bit of dry. <clears throat> today I made a little ghetto fire pit. These are the um, blocks. If you haven't been following us, we raised uh, Cornish Cross meat chickens a while back. Well, like two, three months ago. And we were using these to hold everything down. And these were the cinder blocks we had. So I'm reusing them as a fire pit since we're not doing the chickens anymore. Nope, never again. Nope. <laughs> Eventually I want to get one of those diesel, I'll put a picture up, one of those diesel fire pits with the grate over it. And we can throw like chicken and steak and um, do shish kebabs and stuff. That'll be really nice. Black Friday, they had a really good deal on them. Yeah, we were slacking on this. Yeah. <laughs> but this will work for now. All right, good morning, guys. So we let it sit overnight. I did see a little, um, a couple areas where it needed to be retouched up. So I had Sam come out here too, cause two sets of eyes is better than one, just in case I miss something. Cause it would really suck if I pull all this tape off and then you were like, oh man, we missed that spot. Now we have to recover it up and it'd just be a hassle. So 
had Sam out here this morning and this is how it's looking honestly it, it I wish it was a little more shiny um, but it looks it doesn't look too bad I think once I peel all the tape and you see the lines and everything I think that'll help once I pull it off the brake lights and put the plate back on it looks like a tank almost it looks pretty tough actually I'm not gonna lie um, so yeah, I just hit it with a couple little areas where Sam and I saw. So if you guys see some slight pigmentation or different colors, um, it, it's weird when it, like, like I told you guys yesterday, when it comes out of the can, it's different. It's like a, it's a lighter color and then when it dries, it gets a little bit darker. So I'm going to go ahead and pull all the tape and plastic off and we'll see how she looks. All right, guys, you ready to see the final product? I wish the sun was beaming on it. Unfortunately, the sun comes up over here and it goes over there. It never sits back here. It always stays towards the front of the RV. Um, so we're not going to get a full view, but here it is, guys. I followed the exact shape of the previous one. I'm going to uh, pop up a before and an after. That way you guys can look and see the exact difference. But it looks... It actually looks pretty damn decent. It looks way better than it did before. Um, I got a quote to paint the back of this thing and they wanted $1,800. So for 20 bucks in rattle can paint and uh, a little less than one roll of painter's tape, I mean, it looks it looks pretty decent. I did have a couple rust spots here. I don't know if the previous owner tapped into something, but it was a little rough. Um, I tried to sand it as best I can and then this should help prevent the rust from getting any worse that way it doesn't rust out but it, the paint helps it blend in more too because before you really saw the rust spot i'm really happy with the way it came out it came out pretty damn decent i did have this one area i'm not sure what happened with the tape um so i have this and uh this area but i'll put a piece of tape under this and then i'll get some turpentine and get all this away that's not a big deal <laughs> if that's my only issue then i'll take it Obviously the white is still dirty. It's gonna be a little whiter. I only washed the area that I was gonna paint. But overall guys, very happy with it. All right, well now that that project's done, I think my next project, not now, but down the line, maybe in the near future, um, these vinyl graphics from the sun and the heat, you know, they just start to crack and split. Unfortunately, if you don't keep up with the body and waxing and coating these things, um, this is just what happens. So, like I said, the previous owner had it in a carport, under a carport, but this side was on the end, so it got a lot of sun. But the other side, the graphics are cracking too, but just not as bad. But I think what I'm going to do for these, I'm going to tape these up just the way they are. And I'm actually going to get um, black Rust-Oleum interior exterior paint. I've used it on our shuttle bus. I'll pop a picture up. I painted our entire shuttle bus if you're new here. Um, but I'm going to retape this and then they have mini rollers and I'm just going to hit it real quick with black and then we'll peel the tape and the, the whole thing will look really nice. The nice thing about when you use paint when you roll it on is it tends to fill the cracks a little bit more. Whereas if you use spray paint, it's a pretty thin application. So if you look really close, you'd still be able to see all the cracks. So I definitely think um, painting it with a roller will be beneficial in this situation. And it'll make this RV look amazing. I'm, I'm probably going to hit all of them. And uh, yeah, let me show you on the front. <laughs> so on the front, we have Dutchman, which if you guys don't already know, the name of our RV is the Flying Dutchman. Um, but there was a logo here at one time. I don't know if you'll be able to see it with the sun. But there was a, not a logo, like a stripe or something like that, like a lightning bolt looking kind of thing. But the sun just faded it. But I really want to tape that off and get that back to how it used to look as well. I would love to get something that says the flying and then just have Dutchman. I think that would look awesome. If you don't know where the flying Dutchman is from, it's from SpongeBob. <laughs> but it was just a perfect name because, you know, we're always flying around, moving around. Um, and it already had Dutchman in the name. So it's just, you know, how could you not name it that? All right, um, on to the next thing that I am going to do today. Okay, let me move over here and show you. <clears throat> this happens on a lot of RVs, especially if it's older and they're sitting in the sun quite a bit. Do you see this trim right here? How it's popping out? Same thing with up there in that corner. And the worst one is on the back. This one really bothers me because it's really popping out and you don't want water to get in there and 
damage anything. So we've got this um, this situation going on. This one's popped out probably about two inches, an inch, inch and a half. Um, so basically I bought this stuff. This is called Dynaflex Ultra by DAP. It's kind of a pain to find. I didn't find it in any stores. I didn't even find it in the RV store. I found this on the ancient website called ebay.com. Have you guys ever heard of that? <laughs> I know not too many people shop on eBay anymore. Um, but this is the only website that I found it on. There was links on Google when you Google this product and it'll try to bring you there and it'll say, oh, this page can't be found. But eBay had it, quite a few different sellers. This was, I want to say about 12 bucks shipped. And the guy actually got it here pretty quick. I, was, I got it within like three days. So basically what we're going to do here is make a cut. We're going to cut this. We're going to cut out all the loose stuff Actually, I'll probably cut it from about right here. Right here and right here. And we're going to remove this whole piece. And this stuff is going to be the new rubber. So basically, you put it in a caulk gun. And you're going to run a bead. And then you're going to use... Honestly, the guy used a credit card. I don't think I have any crappy credit cards. Maybe I have a library card from 1995. I'll have to look. But... um. And then he just kind of made it nice and flush and really neat. And it looked great. It works. So this stuff dries. Let me see. So it has all the specs over here. Um, so you have to apply it within 40 to 100 degrees. Skin time is 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, full cure time is 7 to 14 days. But it can get water ready. So it can get wet in an hour. And uh, we're here. Our, today's the first. We're not expecting rain till the fourth yeah till the fourth so we have plenty of time um for it to be rain ready and dry out plus with the sun the hot florida sun beaming on it you know it'll probably cure even faster but this is also this is black in color um they do make different colors most trim is black now these new rvs which i'm not really crazy about but these new rvs they don't even, i'll pop a, a picture up they don't even have a trim it's just glass and they tend to break quite a bit. Um, when we used to transport all the new RVs, um, like 2020s and up, it wouldn't be uncommon for them to actually break just going down the road. Um, I don't know what the situation was. I don't know if they're just not held in place as well. You know, this has like a whole frame and it's really like in there. So the older RVs are definitely built better than the new ones. I can tell you that. I can tell you quite a few stories about them just literally falling apart as we were towing them down the road. Brand new units straight out of the factory. So you can take your chances. <laughs> um, unless I won one for free, I would not buy one. So yeah. All right. Let me, uh, I'm going to get cutting on this and then I'll get this in a caulk gun and we'll get started on this project. All right. So I cleaned the window. Well, at least this area. I'm going to do that area after. Um, but I wiped the whole trim down and everything. Removed this piece. So I got these two pieces. Um, you want to try to make sure you get your cuts as straight as possible. Just so it looks good when you try to match up the um, other caulking with it. But took this out. Wiped the whole thing down Windex. Make sure you get in this track as best as you can. That way you have a nice clean area for the stuff to apply to don't mind this sloppy caulking job that's the previous owner this whole rv needs a wash and i don't know a recaulk job but anyway um so yeah so you want to clean that up and then now we're gonna apply the liquid caulk right down in here they say to use a three inch three eighths inch bead so that's what i'm gonna try to do and then we'll use a something to get it pressed in there all right this stuff is not as, I don't know, it's its not as easy as like regular caulk to apply. Or at least not for me. I don't know why I'm having such an issue. Um, it does look better than it does did. And now at least it's sealed up so no water will get in. But it's not as like clean as I was hoping it would be. Um, I don't know if I'm going to wait and let it dry. And then maybe try to like, like cut it with a knife and like give it a clean edge. I don't know. But here, here's what it looks like. So obviously before it was like instead of it just being this nice rounded edge it was kind of it would go whoa it, it totally missed out so you know it's not perfect but it's a lot better than what it was and like i said once it dries um i'm gonna give it a couple days once it really fully dries i'll see if i could take a i have these i like to buy these um where are they razor blades from 
Harbor Freight tools. They're like 69 cents. Usually you find them right at the front by the counter. They're pretty good. They know that marketing. But these are actually pretty decent for 69 cents. And they come in their own little thing. You don't have to worry about, you know, they're retractable. You don't have to cut yourself. This one's a little rusted. But um, I'm, I'm probably just going to like try to shave it and clean it up a little bit. That's, or at least that's the plan. All right. So I just did a couple other ones just like this. But I wanted to show you guys. It'll minimize the work you have to do as well. So see this one? It's not... It's pulled out obviously a little bit, but it's still pretty firm. It's not loose or anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill it. This one has pulled out quite a bit. It's moving a little bit, but I think I'm gonna try to fill that one too. And we'll see how that goes instead of pulling the whole trim off. All right, it's later in the day. But I wanted to get back to you guys and let you know that I sealed up all 49,000 windows that we have. Went around every one, all the total 360 of the RV, made sure everything's sealed up because we have some pretty heavy rain coming in in the next couple of days. So I wanted to make sure to get that all squared away. Also checked all my seams and stuff like that, just in case any of that needed to be like clear caulked or anything. So we are good to go, ready for the rain. Um, now we're kind of just packing up. We're heading out tomorrow, back on the road, guys. So we got a nice toasty fire going that we stop by now and then because getting a little chilly here at night goes down to like 42 tonight i think something like that so sam you have something on your pants on the back <laughs> oh, no nope, it's like a yellow tag or something tag. um but yeah we're just picking up everything wrapping it up i also dropped or took out a lot of stuff out of the rv a lot of stuff that we brought on the road and we got much room yeah i have so much more room in here now i still have the gas can I always carry because we bring the generator, um, so I just like to have a little extra. Plus, sometimes you just never know. Like if you get caught on a back road and there's no gas station for a while, it's good to have a five-gallon gas right can. Out, yeah, going through those deserts, you know, it's just like you don't know sometimes when you're gonna hit a, um, a gas station. So it's good to have a little extra. But keeping everything, trying to organize everything in here. Again, we're not gonna bring much. Did go ahead today and I stopped by Loves. And uh, just filled up two of these and we're gonna dump them in the RV because our fresh water is getting a little bit low, but I have a 12 volt auxiliary pump. And we'll pour this in the RV that way we can both take showers tonight. And then we're gonna hit the road guys tomorrow. Um, I think we're gonna roll out of here probably around like 11-ish. So. I can bring my bird feeder. And Sam's bringing her bird feeder. She's no, very, oh God. She's very excited about bringing her bird feeder. If there's a will, there's a way. Okay. Well, that's where we're hanging the bird feeder, I guess. Look how nice that is. It makes me smile. I don't make you smile? No. Oh. <laughs> that's unfortunate. I think your roof is a little, uh, not, not sitting straight. What? <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to put an ending on this video and help Sam with her construction of her birdhouse yeah, feeder. Freaking birds. <laughs> but I hope you guys are doing great. And I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.